I have a Thermador microwave oven MEM301S it will not heat. It runs but no heat comes out. I had a repairman out and he said it was the control board. He did not check anything just said it was the control board. I don't trust him. Could it be a diode or a fuse? Thank you Chris. Do you hear the fans and motors running and does the turntable still spin when you tell the unit to heat? It just doesn't heat even though everything seems normal? The fans and the motor are running and the turntable spins. But it all stops in 10 seconds. It makes a noise that it hasn't ever made before. It sounds like it's straining to turn. Then the whole thing shuts off after 10 seconds on microwave. Convection works fine. Okay well this unit doesn't have a diode it has an inverter board which takes the place of a high voltage capacitor and diode. If it stops after 10 seconds this issue means that your microwave doesn't think the magnetron is running correctly. You could have a faulty magnetron itself, a faulty inverter board, or one of your door switches can just not be activating correctly. You can't test the magnetron or the inverter board, so the best thing to do is check the door switches. Unplug the unit and remove the control panel. This will give you access to the door switches to the left of the control panel opening. There should be three switches which you can remove and make sure they don't look burnt. Push on the little actuator buttons and see if the switches still click. If so then reinstall the switches and shut the door to make sure the door is activating all the switches when the door shuts. If so, then it's time to guess which part you want to replace either the magnetron or the inverter board. The manufacturer will tell you to replace the inverter board first, but it's really a toss-up. We are on the honor system here. If you need anything else, just let me know. You can continue asking follow-up questions at no additional charge after rating my service if you still need assistance. You do realize this is a built-in Thermador, right? It can't be unplugged. I can turn off the power outside though. I looked at the door slash control panel and you cannot just remove the control panel that I can see. Yes, I do realize that. I understand it's a lot of work which is likely why the technician avoided it. I can see inside the holes where the doors go in and they look different. One seems to be missing a part that the other hole has. Do you think that means anything? Possibly yes. But the plastic doesn't look the exact same for top and bottom. For instance there is only one door switch through the top hole and two switches at the bottom hole. You'd really have to take the unit apart and test the switches and make sure they are being triggered when the door is opened and closed to know if there is anything off or broken. Well I will talk to my husband and see if he wants to do that. Is there any danger in him working on it? Everything I read says that there could still be power in the microwave and only a licensed professional should work on them. This unit uses an inverter board. Only the older versions with a capacitor and diode hold power. Inverter boards don't hold the power so it's safe to work on. Unfortunately they fail more often however. Just be sure you unplug the unit at least 5 minutes before servicing it. Or flip the circuit breaker off if that is easier of course. Okay does $600 to fix it seem reasonable to you? For an inverter board with trip and labor that sounds about right. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.